Good afternoon. Um, over the next few days, we are going to spend some time together to review how to make measurements using the metric system. And we're going to discuss more in class about why we use the metric system, but these videos are just going to serve as review for how to make these measurements for when we make our experiments. So today we'll talk about length, and you have some space on your notes to fill in the definition of length. Pretty simple. It is simply the distance between two points. Often when we're talking about length, it's the shortest distance. And the basic SI unit is the meter. And when we write meter, a lot of times instead of writing the whole word, we'll just simply write lowercase m for abbreviation. You'll see some other units instead of just meter. And a lot of times we'll add a prefix in front of the word to indicate how long the distance is. For instance, a millimeter, which is abbreviated with MM, um, indicates that it's a very short distance. It's usually very small. Centimeter is a little bigger, and this is abbreviated with a C. And then kilometer or kilometer is usually a longer distance. It's kind of close to a mile, but they're not the same. Equipment that we'll be using in class to measure length are the meter stick or metric ruler. So let's talk about some examples of things that we might measure and figure out what unit of length we would use. Our first example is the width of pencil lead. So pencil lead is very, very small. Okay, this is just a container of it. So what do you think our measurement would be. It should be mm, which stands for millimeter. Our next one is the circumference of a clock. So for instance, here's our class clock, and circumference is the distance around the edge of the clock. So instead of using millimeters, there's probably a better idea. Hopefully you guessed right, it should be centimeters. Centimeters are closer to the size of an inch. They're a little bit smaller. The length of a swimming pool. Think about that one. Hopefully, if you've gone swimming before, you may have seen signs that talk about meters um, in, in terms of the length, and meters are closer to a yard. Finally, the last example is the distance from Amherst to Richmond. It's a lot longer, and so instead of using meters, it might be a better idea to use kilometers, which are closer, like I said, to a mile. So on your notes you have a ruler, a metric ruler, and you'll notice that in between each number there are actually 10 spots instead of usual 8 um, or 16, depending on the type of ruler you might have. And so it's a lot easier to make measurements because they're based on tenths. So we want to look at each of these labels and figure out what the distance is from the end of the ruler to the arrow. For letter A, you'll notice that the arrow is in between 0 and 1. And so you have to look at the smaller marks in between 0 and 1. And when you count them, you should count that there are 6. And so when we put this in decimal form, we end up with 6 tenths. We want to remember units. I don't have a whole lot of room, so I have to write it underneath. Look at letter B. This one is just past the 1, and so you count how many lines are after 1, and there are 2, which gives us 1 and 2 tenths of a centimeter. Letter C is a little further out. This one is past the 2, and there are 2 lines past the 2, which means that we will write down 2.2 centimeters. Letter D is between the 3 and the 4, so this means we'll have a decimal a little bit bigger than 3. When you count, you should find that we have 7 lines after the 3, which means that our decimal point will be 0.7. Do E, F, and G on your own, and if you need to pause it, then that's fine. So E, you should have found to be 5.6 centimeters. You should find F to be 
and g is 7.5. So let's complete each statement, and we're going to convert a little bit. One kilometer is equal to how many mil sorry, meters? <laughs> so kilometer, the kilo prefix means 1,000. So this means that we have 1,000 meters for every one kilometer. One meter is equal to how many centimeters? The centity is the prefix on this abbreviation. And centi means 100, not 1,000. 100. So think of cents in a dollar. There are 100 cents in a dollar. And so that means there are 100 centimeters for every one meter. Finally, a meter is equal to how many millimeters? Well, milli, the prefix, means a thousand. So if you've ever heard the word millennium, that means there are 1,000 years in this span of time. And so milli means a thousand. And that's why one meter is equal to 1,000 millimeters. We'll talk about that more when we talk about converting. If you have any questions about today's short set of notes, you can email me at sparish at amherst.k12.va.us. You could post a comment on this video on Edmodo, and your classmates can participate in a discussion. If it's during school hours, you could call the phone at 946-0691, and my extension is 27017. Please do not forget to answer our video check question that will be posted on your class wall. I hope you have a great afternoon, and I'll see you tomorrow.